so I have a makeup look under this look here. It is just, I don't know why I'm putting my necklace, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Snap it together. It's just playing with new makeup, a little brown smoky eye with some glitter on the inner corner and a nice nude lip. Um, yeah, I just really wanted to do a nice smoky eye today. I, just, I was in the mood just to have a smoke day. Not smoking, smoke. Smoke A. Um, and yeah, this is what I came up with. I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you are interested in getting this look, then please keep watching. So I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Store Skin Care System in Skin Serum. Um, I don't know if there's a shade or anything, but that's what it's called. Just taking this on a smudge your fiber brush it looks and feels like that smashbox photo finish one and then to fill in my pores and fine lines i'm going to go in with the nars pro prime instant line and pore perfecter which i think i've used a few times but not that much i just go in with this all around my targeted areas I'm going to go in and do my brows. I will use the same technique, but I will be using a Colourpop pomade, and this is in the shade of Bangin' Brunette. So I'm going to move on to the face first, because I'm going to hope that I'm not going to get that much fallout. My face looks so ghostly because I've got so much concealer on it. I'm going to go in with the Benefits Erase Paste in the shade number one, Fair. And I'm just going to pop that in my under eyes just to correct them. Because they're super dark today. And I think I've only used this concealer once or twice. Oh, and the brow, the pomade, it feels a bit chalky and powdery. It's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It's just <laughs> what it is. But I like the colour and the brows look okay. Foundation, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in the shade Sand. To keep going, so I'm going to go in with a Colourpop Sculpting Stick in the shade New Renaissance. I haven't wanted to play with this for so long and it's just got buried underneath all my cream contours so I decided to dig it up today. So I've never used it. I'm very excited. I got this when I think this was the only shade of the contours, but I think they have other shades. But don't quote me. I'm gonna go in with a flat top brush just to buff out my under lip and nose. Then I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and spray some spray on it. I wish there was just like a, a misting brush spray. Like, to dampen brushes. Has anyone made an order on Colourpop yet? Since they've decided to ship to the UK. I've seen that their shipping is pretty much $25 or pounds. And then a custom suite as well. And I talked to my friend Sarah, who I did my Colourpop shop with, like the um, shipping service, and it works out cheaper to use a shipping service. Um, for us anyway, I don't know about you guys. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It's the first time using it, I'm so excited. And this is in the shade Fair. But yeah, it's cheaper to use a shipping service, is what I've heard. And... I've heard that it took a while for some passes to come. We'll be dabbing this out with a damp beauty blender. I apologise for the lighting. So I'm going to attempt again to use this RCMA powder. Um, I'm only going to attempt to use it under my contour at the moment and see how it goes because Last time it was just a disaster. So I'm just taking an EXO Beauty Face Definer brush. And that's what people do, right? They always look like Sandy Claws. I might just put a bit on my cupid's bow because I get a bit sweaty. A glistening upper lip, as one of my subscribers said. And then I'm gonna go in and wipe it away with a Morphe E48 brush. I don't get it. It just looks like I've got a massive stripe down my face now. 
But under my eyes, I'm gonna go in my loose foundation from MAC. This is my third one. I ain't mad. I feel so cakey right now. And then I'm gonna go in and set my face using a MAC Sheer Mystery Powder in Dark Secret with my Too Faced Mr. Right brush. And I'm just gonna set everywhere else. I just look so washed out and I feel so cakey. I'm gonna go in and set my brows using the Benefits Gimme Brow Brow Set. So I really wanna do like a smoky eye. I'm in the mood for a smoky eye. I have two new palettes. This is the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette, which I still haven't used. And the Kat Von D Serpentina, maybe, palette. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be using any of these shades because they're not really smoky. Maybe just this one here, which I have swatched because it's right up my alley. And then the Becca and Jaclyn Hill one looks like this. I know that this is a discontinued palette, um, but I wanna play. So I'm gonna go into the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette and take a mixture of these two shades here. And I'm just gonna begin to buff this in the crease and on the lid. I'll be in London this weekend. I think this goes up on Friday. And I'll be in London on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's a YouTube convention going on. Then I'm just gonna go in with the dark brown by itself. Then I'm just gonna go into that Kat Von D palette and take the red with a Zoeva 227 Look Soft Definer brush. And I'm just gonna be popping that on the lid. And then from that Jacqueline and Becca palette, I'm going to go in with this darkish purpley shade. It looks purple, but I think it's meant to be a brown. But that's the way with a 227 brush. And just smudge that across. You ain't got to worry about this one too much. And then for my inner corners, I'm going to go in with a Touch and Soul Metallic Metallist liquid foil and this is shadow duo this is in the shade number two what i'm going to do is take the liquid side first and i'm just going to pop this in my inner corner and then i'm just going to go over the top of it with the glitter and then i'm going to go in and take the brown here with a zoeva 231 Lux petite crease brush you can just use a pencil brush and i'm going to buff this on the lower lash line And then I'm gonna take a bit of that Kat Von D shade as well. Then I'm gonna go in and line my eyes using the Ardency in Black Eyeliner. And then from the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm gonna go in with the fair shade to highlight my brow bone. I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes and, and add Charlotte Tilbury mascara. To run my face, I'm gonna go in with the new NARS Laguna. This was a limited edition one. The reason why I say it's new is because it was a new formula. It was a bit more shimmery, it was a bit more oily, um, but you can just use the normal one or you can use any one that you want or you don't have to recreate this look and you can just watch me to binge. And this is with a MAC 138 brush, I think, or a 130 brush. And I'm just gonna bronze my skin with this as I feel all these powders have drained me out like nobody's business. And I'm gonna use Laguna to contour my nose as well. To contour my face, I'm gonna go in with this Tartist contour palette and I'm gonna be taking this shade here, which is three, with a MAC one something brush. It's just an angled brush. Oh, that contour is lovely. It's nice and subtle. Subtle. I don't understand why there's a B in subtle. Just put an extra two there. 
I'm going to go into this Benefit Rockitude palette that one of my subscribers, Kirsty, got me. Thank you again, babe. And I will be going in with Rocketeer. This is from Benefit. I don't know if I said Benefit, but I'll say it again. And I'm just going to apply that on the cheeks. To highlight, I'm first going to go in with NARS's Illuminating and Cold Pack and Banner. Cold Pack and Banner. Taking that on the tip of my Beauty Blender. Oh my lord, this is pigmented. Okay. Okay. I'll do this. It's okay. It's fine. I was going for the highlight look anyway. So to highlight, I'm going to go in with this Too Faced Candlelit Glow Duo, and there's two of them, and this is in the shade Warm Glow, and I'm actually just going to mix both. Why not? And then I'm going to go in with the bum of my beauty blender and just tap around my face, just because all that powder I feel quite cakey and a bit too matte for my own liking so I'm just gonna moisturize and do up and wet up the face. Oh my lashes are Lily Lashes in Big Nose, sorry. I forgot to tell you guys because I didn't know which ones I wanted to wear. Then I'm gonna set my face using the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix 2. Or is it 02? I don't know. For lips I'm gonna go in with this Violet Bass liquid lipstick. I've used this a couple of times. I don't know if I've used it on camera yet. Can't remember, uh, but I'm absolutely like really, really loving this at the moment, and this is in the shade Breezy. So then, this is the completed look, guys. This, this is my new playing with makeup a little smoky eye, a little glitter in the in a corner, and a nice nude lip, as always. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If there are any new makeup products or makeup products in general that you guys want me to try out, then please let me know in the comments down below, or tweet me, or snap me, or Instagram me, like anything like that. Just let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.